Hello? <laughs> Hello. Uh, and also, hi, Tyadrin. I see you go first. Congratulations. <laughs> so, yeah, hi. It's me. Um, I'm gonna play some Palia for a bit. Well, let me actually move the screen. Ahem. <laughs> I don't remember how to stream. <laughs> it's been it's been eighty five years. Hi, thanks for dropping by. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We're just gonna play this for a while. <laughs> I need to like. I just needed to stream something to get back into it. You know, when you don't do it for a while, it's like hard to like get back into it. Um, so I figured this would be nice and chill. Uh, yeah, I've been playing this a bunch recently. Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, like a harvest moon or like my time at Portia kind of thing. Yeah. Here's my little farm area. I have so many tomatoes. The tomatoes, they're, they're one that like you can harvest it multiple times, and so yeah, they like just end up sticking around. <laughs> like, it's just the whole tomatoes. Let's rewater them. Started another plot over here. Oh yeah, and I made a seed maker. Oh, that's a lot of seeds. That's a lot of carrot. I didn't realize I was gonna make that many. Thirty-two. <laughs> that's all right. I guess I'm gonna plant a lot of carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it would make that many. Cause like yeah, like I put. Like this thing you can put the crops in there and it makes the seeds out of them and like I put a rice in there and it was like, okay, here's four rice seeds and then I put like maybe, what, like five carrots and it gave me 32 carrots? Like why did it give me so many more seeds? <laughs> maybe I put in more than five carrots, I don't know. I guess let's, pull up, let's plant them. Some, some Cohen. My favorite Pokemon region. <laughs> Hoenn. I mean, is it my favorite though? I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me also just, just going over the crops. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. They're very strong. I'm too lazy to let go of the button. Ooh, I found like a thing. Oh, silver. Cool. Okay. What time is it? Oh, okay. Six o'clock. Okay. We've done the hoeing. Now we can hoe down. Let me plant some rice. I do like, um, one thing with the crops in this game is, like, they give bonuses to e each other. Um, so you're, like, incentivized to plant different stuff. Which, I say that, and I'm about to just plant a bunch of carrots. Yeah, this is just all gonna be carrot. <laughs> but yeah, like, if you plant different stuff next to each other, they, like, give bonuses and stuff. Like, these have, like, water retain. Which is why I didn't have to water them. Like, I think you basically just have to water them once. Like, weed prevention, harvest boost, etc. So that's neat. That's a good idea. So that you're not just like... I'm just gonna plant a shitload of one crop. Oh, 
all these extra seeds away. Tomatoes. Oh yeah, I just got these in the mail. These are for the gotcha machine. <laughs> and unopened oysters. That's kind of like a gotcha. Opening oyster gotcha. Let's go. Meat. Meat. Meat and a pearl. Meat. 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 <laughs> meat. Meat. Oh, quality meat. Oh, another pearl. Nice. Great. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also fertilizer. Where is it? Yeah, there's the poop. <laughs> let's go put some poop on, on these crops. Mm, one thing I would kind of like is, like, a lantern or something to carry around. Because it's like, you can still see pretty well at night, but it would just be nice to have like a little more... Like some kind of dynamic light I can actually bring around with me. So I'm not just doing stuff in the dark. And like, you can build lanterns and stuff. That would just be annoying. Just have to build one everywhere. And also like, for when you're out exploring. Plant two more carrots. <laughs> more carrots. Hmm? Oh, right. I need to hoe it. some poop. Like, oh, when you actually place it though, it looks like a bunch of, it's like, oh, it's like some flower petals or something. Isn't that nice? Definitely not just poop. I see I have mail, but first I'm gonna check on my smelting stuff. Um, I could make ceramic. Yeah, smelt it all night or There you go. I made some light bulbs. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, here's where we get the poop. And worms. have so many tomatoes. I'll just do some more of that. Get some leather. I'm gonna hold off right now. Some planks. Yeah, make a few more of those planks. Um, actually, you know what? Just make all that into planks. <laughs> I'll probably need them. Alright, what do we got in the mail? From Reth. I was sitting around the inn and thinking there was something I'd like to see more of. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, and then I realized the thing I was missing was your face. Aww, oh, what do you say? You want to come by the inn? I've got some new recipes for ramen. I can show you how to make your own mixing station. Cool. There I go. I couldn't wait to share this with you. Sugarfoot is back to her spirited self. She adores her new winner's ribbon. I've never seen her gallop around our corral so lively. I'm glad to see them interacting like before. Sometimes we underestimate these majestic creatures and forget that they're also complex beings with emotions like us. Please take this as a token of my and Sugarfoot's gratitude. Oh, more carrot seeds! Exactly what I needed, Nayo. How did you know that I was just collecting carrot seeds? <laughs> Let's see, do I have some extra stuff to sell? Like, 
I could just sell some of these quality tomatoes. Mm, I need to go do fishing. <laughs> Hello, Sarek, and welcome. Mm, gonna sell ceramic. Probably gonna just keep it for stuff. Mm. And yeah, I don't know. See, that's that's the hard thing for me with these games is like I never know. I'm like, but what if I need it later? <laughs> I can't just get rid of it. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing all right right now. Just vibing. I've been a little. Not so good, but <laughs> it's alright. Let's see, what should we go do? Let's go... Well, I was gonna say let's go say hi to the villagers, but... A lot of them are probably asleep. Oh, and thank you. Oh, some of them are awake. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, yeah, I see on my compass at the top. Like, there's some Z's next to Reth's head. Which would, I think, would mean that he's asleep, but I don't think he actually is. Because he's here. Wait. Where is he? Is the compass just lying to me? Or wait, does he, like, live, like, upstairs or something? Where, where is he? Oh wait, maybe he's back like in this kitchen area? What? Is the compass seriously just lying? <laughs> like he's just, he's just not here. Why are you saying he's here? Greetings, Let's talk to the mayor. Fair traveler. Wait, I sampled, oh right. <laughs> I forgot, we gave him some tomatoes for a quest. I thought he was just saying Don't that he just, like, stole one of my tomatoes. I was like, what? What brings you back to the old farm? Got a bunch of potatoes. I think huh? we could pickle them? Pickled potatoes? I've never tried it. Can't chat now. Got lots to do. Can't do better than seafoods. I'm do for you. I'm having trouble sleeping. Or wait. If it's something I ate, or more likely something I drank. Now, where was I? Good luck with that. Mr. Innkeeper. Hello! Oh, so, oh dude. <laughs> you and Sifu. Let's make it for being an old man with too many regrets. Oh, man. Fair travels. That's rough, buddy. The art style, yeah, it's nice. Kind of cartoony. Oh, and yeah, here's my my ergo. <laughs> also, hey wait, there. can I not? Uh... Uh, stop by any time. I can't ask what people want. Tell me what you want. Oh well, I guess actually, probably the reason I can't. Yeah, I guess you can only know. Or, well, at the level that I'm at with most of them, you can only know two of their, their wants. You have to reach a higher relationship level. Yeah, like with him, I know all three. Okay. That's why I can't ask, because I already know. You know what? She's still at level one. I need to level up my friendship with her. 
And her, I guess, although she's a jerk, so I don't care that much. And this robot. Well, oh, and her, because she's like mysterious and lives far away, so I haven't talked to her that much. Let me see, is the librarian up? Oh, here's the robot. Are you here for my Gina? Oh. <laughs> It helps Gina get her requisite amount of foot movement. Goodbye, human. Getting the steps in. No. No, I guess the librarian's asleep. Are we here? Wait, I could just... Can <laughs> say, hey, what's up? I know you're asleep. Help you refurnish your home. Okay. Um, and then what did she want? She wanted, like, some kind of flower. Are you trying to give her that? Where is she? What's her name? Clary. Briar Daisy. I think I have some of those. Here's Just Gina. the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Hmm. Good observations. See, I'm. I wish there were actually more books we could read. It seems like there aren't. There's literally like just one over here that just gives you a recipe for carrot soup and that's it. That is the only book you can read in the library. <laughs> yeah, here, hold on. Let's see if we can go on a, a gift giving tour. Saying everything else is Excel manuals from the 90s. <laughs> Just that's it. They all got isekai'd here. Okay, so she wants a briar daisy. There you go. Where's everybody? What about everybody else? Ashura wants a sweet leaf. Aoni wants. I don't think I have a I don't think I've even seen a mantis. Proud horned stag beetle. I might have one of those. Hold on. Yeah. Uh and then Ashra wanted a sweet leaf. That's a sweet leaf. Badru wants a cotton seed or an orange blue gill. Which is it? Is it orange or blue? Make up your mind. Do I have an orange blue gill? I do. Um, chain. Well, I already gave him a potato. <laughs> a cantankerous koi for Delayla. Do I have that? Can't. What did it look like? Uh. Barracuda. Oh, there it is. I do have one. Um, I know I want to say striped dace or red belly piranha. Uh, oh, yeah, these are in alphabetical, aren't they? Oh, here's a red belly piranha. Um, Lisa, I've already given her a gift. I've given her a gift. Giving him a gift. Well, here, a mountain moral, those are super common. So, yeah, I'll give him one of those. Um. Oop, bleh. I don't know what Hecla wants. <laughs> Tell me what you want. But, all right. Oh, Heartwood, that's easy. And Jell wants Choppa fur. And the heartwood. I'm just filling up my inventory with gifts. Gina wants a bright shroom or a shimmer fin. 
I have a bright room. Um, Kenley wants creamy carrot soup. Oh, so does Kenny. Oh, she also wants a briar daisy. Here, I'll get a second briar daisy. Call me Santa, because I'm here to give out the gifts. Nayo. Wait, what is that? Pickled. Oh, pickled potatoes. That's the thing uh, that his mom was talking about. I guess pickled potatoes are a thing. She wants a copper bar. Don't know what he wants. Pickled carrots. Do we get the ability to pickle things later? Works. Right now I can't pickle anything. Here, wait, so a hardwood plank, a copper bar. Okay, hardwood plank and a copper bar. All right, it's 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 Christmas time. Uh huh. <laughs> Message notification. Okay. Alright, where is everybody? Come on, Sifu, wait. Before you go to bed. Wait. <laughs> I have a thing for you. Wait. No. Wait. <laughs> Get back here. Need anything? Ah. Question is, do you need anything? Or wait. Oh wait. Was Sifu not one of the people that I had a gift for? Wait, I thought I did. Did I just imagine that? I guess I did. Next time you slay a monster. Tell it. Let me just make sure. Oh yeah, because I've already given her a stone brick. Alright, who else? Einar is there. Can I... Can I give you a gift while you're asleep? Ooh, copper. Been here 3,928 years. Wow. You are an old robot man. Have a piranha. What a delightful little creature. I think I shall name him Gil. Alright, have fun. <laughs> So many. I like the, the little message says, wow, your inventory is too full. <laughs> Just like, wow. Wow. Thank you. 
Oh, she's gonna smoke that flower. That's... <laughs> but it has a lot of medicinal uses. I forget, did I have something for Ashra? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Hello there, friend. Hey, you know, gotta do something around here for fun. Uh, sweet leaf. A few things need my attention. Is this guy voiced by the guy that voiced Nier? <laughs> As a field of trade in fantasy opium. Oh no. Hold on, I gotta look up the voice actors for this real quick. It is! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Could recognize him. Yeah, he's voiced by the guy that voiced like the the dad near in the original near game. Um wait, he's both I don't know why those were in separate piles, but okay. Uh, who else did I have presents for? Oh, I think I got that beetle for Auni. Where's he at? He's over at the farm, probably, yeah. Exactly the same like shape and everything basically. Wait, I thought he was in here. Where'd he go? If I hurry up, I can go catch some bugs. Huh? Who do you think you'll call, or what do you think you'll call for your path? What? Huh? Oh, I kind of forgot humans don't do the whole path selection thing. When a Majiri kid grows up, they pick their path, like the like what they want to do with their lives forever. My brother Nayo recently committed to his path as a uh. farmer. I don't want to be a farmer. I want to join the order so I can learn magic. Is that dumb? I hope that's not dumb. Of course not. Here, have a bug. Ah. We're trying to catch one of these little fellows all day. Well, the day just started, but... Promise you'll come <laughs> <Sure>. back? <laughs> I think... Did I have stuff for... The rest of the family here? You need some heavy lifting? Ah... So Sundrop is Kenyatta's roof rock. She named it after the Sundrop lilies. That oh. But no, but Kenyatta really loves animals. It's one of the things I like about her. Oh. I don't have a present for you. Come back anytime. <laughs> Robot. You see, Nani? That boy is always running around. Oh, yeah, she wanted the cantankerous koi. Oh. 
blue ribbon will go for sure. A be good out there, dearie. It's my renown. Why well, hello there? there. Oh. It sure has been a while. Let us catch up. Sh oh my god. <laughs> my produce is getting so popular with the humans, Zeki started to order more. I think now is the time to act if I want to lock in a new price. I gotta turn that lettuce into cold hard cabbage. Wow. Here, have a fish. Wow, a gift. This is so sweet. I wish I could come up with a pun, but I'm too overwhelmed with happiness. It's which, hold on. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> to think of Call me an orange, cause I'll see you around. <laughs> uh, man, that was not that was not good. I'm sorry. Oops, I got stuck. Um. Yeah, apparently, Wrath wants to talk to me. Ooh, more copper. I'm gonna mine it while standing on it. <laughs> Garlic. Good to see you again. Great to have another culinary nerd in town. Speaking of recipes, I've got some new ones. Yeah, I've actually wanted a mixing station. I think I need that. Oh, that's free. A recipe for ramen. Sure. Wait, am I putting myself out of business? <laughs> Usually bring dinner over for Tish and Jill after work. Basically, the only time I get to see them. Ah. I'm trying out a new carrot cake recipe this week, but I need more carrots. Ah. Granted, the last few attempts didn't turn out great. Fifth time's the charm. Do I have a gift for you? I don't think I do. Sorry. I'll Maybe. see you around. Did I? Do I have something for Eloisa? I don't remember. You might be a ghost. Hmm. Oh. I suppose if I can prove what I believe is true, then people will not always look at me as if I am crazy. We can say, I don't think you're crazy, or people are afraid of things they don't understand. Let's do that. Oh. That is why my work is so important. I only do this research to protect the village and the people there. If I can help them learn the truth, they will not have to be afraid anymore. How nice. What a nice conspiracy person you are. <laughs> um, did I have something? What else do I have gifts for? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think I've talked to Joe. Oh yeah, I think he wanted some fur. Someone could use a wardrobe refresh. Hmm. That outfit choice is very you. Mm -hmm. What, if you find that feedback too harsh, you need to look within. <laughs> Being called you is only an insult if you have issues with yourself after all. <laughs> wow, thanks, thanks. Have this fur. Mm -hmm. Take care. You're welcome. Um... Oh, wait, I think, who was it, like, Tish and... Oh yeah, Kaleri. Oh, thanks for the hydrate. In the stretch. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Let me see. So yeah, let's go see Kaleri. Forbidden knowledge can corrupt the mind. If you're looking for my advice on what to read, I would recommend starting with A and working your way down. <laughs> wow. Just, just, so just read all over everything, of course. Ah. Stay out of the forbidden section. Oh, but, but I want to go in the forbidden section. <laughs> Who have I not talked to? Who do I have stuff for? Okay, the truth, Valeri. Uh, Einar we talked to. Oh yeah, the mushroom for Hassian. I don't know what Hecla wants. It's where the best books are. <laughs> it's just all like really raunchy, like erotic novels. <laughs> But then also, like, the Necronomicon. Um, so wait, Hodari wants Heartwood. Oh yeah, and then Hodari's daughter. And Tish. Oh wait, what about Zeki? What about the Catman? No, okay, he wants Fish still. Okay. Where is... There's Tish. So Tish and then Kodari and his daughter live in the next area. So we'll go see Tish. Both the secret story of the origin of the world and all the lewd fan fiction of the characters in that story. Yep. Forbidden knowledge. Hmm, what to make? Oh, hi. How are you doing today? I've been better. Uh... I'm sorry things aren't going great, but maybe we'll cheer you up if you try focusing on something you like. I don't know if I told you yet, but growing up, I was really sick. My parents didn't think I'd make it this far. I focused on my craft, and well, the other stuff worked itself out. Oh my gosh, she's she's the she's sick anime girl trope. <laughs> she's girl with mysterious anime disease. I think this wood wants to be a table, or maybe an armoire. It's not my job to design the furniture, after all. I just get rid of all the extra bits of wood, keeping each plank from reaching its full potential. Hope you have a wow. wonderful day. So poetic. Wait, who wanted the bright shroom? Was that um Najuma? No, no, she wants the copper bar. Wait, who wanted the bright shroom? Oh, Gina. I forgot. There we have Gina the Bright Shroom, and then Najuma, and Hodari. Okay, and I think that's that's it. Oh yeah, oh, and Hassian too. Here, okay. we'll go talk to Hassian, and then Najuma and Hodari. Gotta build up these relationships. Like literally, because my <laughs> my current like main story quest is that I need to um find a Shep. <laughs> Short for Shepherd, I guess. Um and in order to do that I have to like Make your business. get somebody's friendship up really high. Uh. You ever see a kitsu, do not make the mistake of trying to hunt it. But like a kitsune? Kids who are secret animals in Valley. 
They're meant only to interact with us as companions or friends, not food. Okay, so <laughs> Kitsune are friends, not food. Got it. Have a mushroom. Oh. Back to my business. He's a grump. He's a tsundere. <laughs> But are they? Yeah, yeah, you know, you say they're not meant for food, but have you tried eating them? <laughs> you know? Maybe just give it a little try. Just a little taste of the sacred animal. Wait, Hassian. Wait. Why are you here? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, Hassian, I just talked to you over there. Who's the real... <laughs> Who's the real Hassian? <laughs> you know what, just don't worry about it. Um... There's Hadari. So Najuma was still asleep. Can I just... What are you doing? I like that you can just wake people up. <laughs> just, hey, what's up? Uh... Three different humans asked me what happened to my leg today. Why does everybody have to focus on that? Wait. Oh, does she have like a robot leg? I didn't even notice. <laughs> I wish for once somebody would just compliment me on how cool my new one is. Yeah, a cool robot leg. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't notice you had a robot leg. Here, I have a copper bar. Well, you brought me a whole metal bar. You must have hit the mother load. Where can I ask her dad? <laughs> Why does your daughter have a robot leg? I usually work alone. Oh, and then you were saying, feels like Skyrim just chatting to the Jarl in bed. <laughs> oh, the dragonborn. What do you want? Mm. Juma was up all night again. This ghost thing's really got her riled up. Oh yeah, there was like a thing. She she thinks that like the mine is haunted. Which I like that uh kind of like ongoing quest lines will kind of bring up new dialogue in their like regular chatting thing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Thanks, it should help me get those supports up in two shakes of an Ormu's tail. Back to it. Alright, was, was that all the gifts? Oh, right, right, Gina, Gina. We'll go talk to her. Probably over here, yeah. We could go fishing. This is some areas that I haven't been to. Hodari, how did you get here ahead of me? <laughs> I feel like the NPCs are not synced across the, like, separate maps. Because, yeah, I mean, this is a an online game. It's technically an MMO. Even though I basically just play it single-player. <laughs> So it's all like 
you know, different on different servers or whatever. Oh no, you see, time and space are strange in this realm. Oh yeah. Of course, of course. It's all explained in the lore. We're we're shifting between alternate realities or something. We're in one reality, he's standing in one place, then another reality, he's standing in another place. If you went to the Forbidden Site, ah, it's all there. You see, it's where we gotta build up for, gotta build up my friendship with Kaleri. Hope you've settled in without much trouble. some gotcha tokens. Let's go use those. Go to the shop. So you can ask people if they can be your ship. Right, that's like my main quest right now, is I have to get somebody's friendship to level 4. I think, uh, and then I asked them to be my ship, which basically, it, which basically, um, I, I think basically means they'll be like my, um, because I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to become like an official citizen or whatever, and so um, part of like becoming a citizen is that somebody basically has to like sponsor you or whatever, you know, somebody has to vouch for you, and so that's what the ship is. Like, basically, they kind of adopt you, or something. Because, yeah, like, basically, the the lore in this is that, like... So there's, like, the elf people. <laughs> the purple elf people. And then there's also, I guess, cat people, like this guy. But, like, humans... Like, and like, humans are, like, this ancient species that used to exist, but then they all disappeared. And now all the humans are reappearing, you know, the the players of the game, <laughs> like like that one right there, um, and so like yeah, all the humans, the players are trying to like basically <laughs> figure out where they belong in this world. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. I, I am interested in where the story will go. Yeah, let's open up our gotcha, our gotcha pawn. Oh, butter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More butter. <laughs> Tomato seeds. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the but. I don't know if I would trust butter I got out of like a, a gotcha pawn. <laughs> but okay. some unrefrigerated butter sitting in a, a capsule. salted butter. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, right. One thing, um, we got a recipe for a mixing station. Yeah, let's make that. And you're saying you had to wash it to be able to actually use it? Really? Like, because it was just so salty, like it would just kill you <laughs> from saltiness? How do I... yeah, pick up. There we go. Put this mixing station here. There. 
Wait, that's bothering me because it's not, like, lined up with the other thing. There. <laughs> this just collapsed from the sentence. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay, because we've ha I've had this quest for a while to, like, make these macarons. So, like, okay. Wait. Huh? Well, I need to make... Wait. I need to make ground sweet leaf. Wait. Okay. Um... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, so you need an additional... Wait, but this is a mixing station. Do I just need to have two... Why? <laughs> like... What? Do I need to have a second mixing station? I'm confused. Why can't I just use this one? What? Huh? <laughs> well, that doesn't seem right, but I guess I'll... Make another mixing station? Let's <laughs> put it there, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I needed to have two mixing stations for some reason. Why? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, I made the thing. And now I can put it here. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> we did it. Macarons. Bit buggy. I mean, that doesn't even seem like a bug. That just seems like a weird decision. Yeah, like, I mean, it seems in intended. I guess it's because, like, it needs to, like, queue up the job. Because it was like, I needed to do the mixing the leaf. Like, I had to grind up the leaf. And, like, that just needed to be queued at, like, its own station. I guess. But yeah, just strange. I don't know why it wouldn't just, yeah. Just do one and first and then do the other one. I don't know. I'm just going to put it back in there. Okay. Anyway. Oh, here. I need to water. Yeah, this game is still, um, technically in beta, or like early access or whatever. Um. Oh, wait, that's finished drawing. Uh, so maybe, hopefully, that's something will change. I don't know. Unless they just really want it to be like that. Like, it's just, I don't know, maybe to encourage you to have, like, a big kitchen with, like, multiple stations. Something unintended that can easily come from... Maybe. I mean, it seems more like it's... Yeah, like, they just didn't want, um, to have to program it so that, like, you can have, like, multiple jobs queued at a single, uh, station. Either intentionally or out of, like, kind of laziness. <laughs> laziness isn't exactly the right word, but you, you know what I mean. Copper ore. Here, make a little glass. There's planks ready. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
That, that's what was, that's how it works, I think. Uh, what was I gonna do? Okay, well, we're gonna go bring those... I had a quest to make those macarons, so we're gonna go bring them to somebody. To Hecla. Um, but... I have some spaces to plant, so I might as well plant some my... 30 carrot seeds. Oh yeah, Reth wanted a carrot. So I'm gonna bring a carrot for him. The great human bake off. Yeah. It's it's, you know, not just about nationality, it's just all of humanity. I forget. There's no room over here. I also have a thing to get four uncommon bugs. Do I have four uncommon bugs? I kind of wish they were labeled. Oh, wait a second, hold on. That's green. That probably means it's uncommon, right? Yes, yeah, so you know, I have one out of four. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you can tell their rarity by the color of the text box. Fire-breathing dragonfly. That one's like a light blue. Does that mean that it's, like, extra rare? I don't know. <laughs> I wish it would just say, like, common, uncommon, etc. So if it's, like, extra rare, I don't want to... Oh, there, Garden Ladybug is green. Garden Leaf Hopper. Garden Millipede. There you go. Let's go turn in these quests. Get a foil mythic bug. <laughs> Extra rare bug. Wanted to check. I still have 30 smoke bombs. 56 worms, 82 arrows. I'm all set on stuff. Wait, which one's closer? Looks like Eloise is closer. Wait, I see a glowy. Also, there's no fall damage. <laughs> there's just no damage in general. If you like fall from a really high height, your character just does like a little roll, and then they're fine. <laughs> I mean, and I mean, you know, that's that's true to real life. As long as you do a little roll when you fall, you'll be fine. You won't take any damage. Oh, oh hello, dear. Got time to chat? Oh, these are fantastic. My field finds were not quite as riveting. Oh yeah, only animals can be damaged. People cannot be damaged. They are invincible. Do you mind if I hang on to these for a while? Okay. Let's see, we can say better than you than me. Where are you going to keep them? Keep me updated. As long as none of them get hurt. I do like this whole, there's like, the four elements are like personalities <laughs> for like your responses. Um, I've mostly been doing air responses because I'm like, I'm, I'm Ergo Corvus, I'm a, a <laughs> I'm a bird, I'm a wind element, right? Let me see. I'm gonna say keep me updated. Uh-huh. We are partners in the paranormal now, through and through. I shall inform you of any occult uncoverings as they materialize. Let me know if you find any interesting <laughs> Ergo. Uh... I'd 
we've settled in without much trouble. Here we go. Oh, no, it's still Don't be a stranger. It's still the same day. Hello. Mm -hmm. Uh, I made the macarons. Uh, I hope they were both nutritionally and emotionally satisfying. Your culinary adventure has inspired me. Perhaps I will make some for my Gina. Do you think she would like it if they were mushroom flavored? Gina spent so much time in the sun, I fear her skin will become damaged by the radiance of the nearest star. <laughs> That's why I prepared a lotion with protective properties for her. She doesn't wear it. <laughs> well... What a, what a nice robot mom. What brings you around here? Did I talk to you already? Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, what did I get? I got a buzzy jar. It allows you to track rare insects for 15 minutes. Wait, what? How does that work? Huh. So look at the way this guy walks. <laughs> He's got he's got some pep in his you stuff. Need something. It's always about the abs. Always be buying. Remember that. <laughs> Do you ever wonder how much you could accomplish in life if you didn't have to run a front business? No, I guess it's just me then. Okay. Good. Oops. Good luck with that. Uh, sorry, Burball. Oh. <laughs> Breath. I have a carrot. Where are you? Uh, he's over. Oh, he's at like the clothes shop. Nice of you to visit. Ah, carrot. Grow this yourself? Mm. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty tasty. Thanks. I'll see you around. Hmm, Did I already talk to you? To make. Oh, hi. See ya. I'm kinda curious what this tracking rare bugs thing would do. Like Okay. I used it. Now what? Do they show up like on the map? No. <laughs> what? What does it do? <laughs> Will they like glow or something? What rare bugs? Grasshopper. But I'll still take it. Or a field cricket, sorry. Oh, get back here. Whoops. Didn't mean to throw that money. Yeah, what does... Oh, oh, it shows up on the compass. Okay, cool. Glad I figured that out. It's just a nice breath of the wild up here. Alright. Where is it? We're very close. Where is it? Oh, that? What is that? Weird. Oh, escape! Right, get in the Pokeball. No, get in the Pokeball. There you go. What is that? Gossamer Veil Moth. Cool. Right, let's see how many rare bugs we can find. I guess I'll just um. Well, I'm gonna run over to the other map. Right now there's just two um, areas in the game, 
because there's this one, and then there's the uh, the bay area. <laughs> And it seems like there's people keep talking about a, a city, and so I'm wondering if maybe the city will eventually be a place you can go. Let me let me remember the fence. Hello, bugs. Rare bugs. They're just regular bugs. Those are deer. Deer are not bugs. Or sorry, they're called like Sarnook. Sarnook are not bugs. Fish are not bugs. Let me tell you everything that's not a bug. This is a mushroom, it's not a bug, but I'll take it. That's another player, that's not a bug. Hmm. I'm guessing they just show up on the compass like once you get within a certain distance. Here, can I see, like, nah. I was gonna say, oh, there you go. Insect tracking. Tracking rare insects for top minutes. Okay. Oh, there's one. Let's go. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh boy. Was it that? Nice. Yeah, glow book. I've gotten those before. Or no, wait, maybe I haven't. Wait, I shouldn't waste my smoke bombs on these common... These common creatures. This really is like Pokemon. Just like get in the get in the ball. Get get caught. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, finally. Sheesh. I only have five smoke bombs left. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch anything. Ten hours later, exactly. Uh, Alright. Well, these ones must be on the other side of this cliff. Which is inconvenient. There's some this way.
I'm looking at? Oh, it's like a purple grasshopper. That was my last, that was my last one. Like, it still does the animation. <laughs> eh. I'm just throwing nothing at you. <laughs> oh well. Guess that's the end of the uh, bug hunting adventure. Oh, well, that bug hunting made me hungry. Hold on. Let me eat that. Alright. Well, I can't hunt bugs, but I can hunt, uh... Beavers. Give me your skin. Take them back up. That would be funny. Take out like the hoe. <laughs> like, get out of here. Accept your fate. Go oh, wait. I see iron. Always need metal. Oh yeah, we should go fishing. Um, I'm gonna go for one of these. Nope, oh, oh, I got spooked. What about you? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, that might have been somebody else. Because those usually take more than one shot to kill. So somebody must have shot this one already. <laughs> sorry, sorry for kill stealing, but... I don't see them anywhere, so it's mine now. <laughs> okay, my inventory is basically full, so let's head back. I need to make more smoke bombs anyway. Hold well on the assist, yeah, right? That's what we'll call it. <laughs> it was teamwork that only benefits me. <laughs> before they find out what he God. The puns. Oh. This moth is just making a very shiny noise. <laughs> There's a bird. <laughs> I don't think you can actually shoot the birds. <laughs> My 
Lottie is a machine that turns people's handles into basic wordplay. I see, I see. An important crafting uh, uh, process. And hello, Moon. Welcome. all my loot away and by loot I mean these living creatures and also dead creatures <laughs> some dead some living let's see did I have extra smoke bombs I do I have sticky smoke bombs there you go I don't know how that works I don't know how smoke is sticky. What oh, is this? Oh, this is the achievement screen. Um, here, let me repair real quick. Oh, I need to make repair kits. Probably, I could probably move this to a better place. I don't, I don't know why it's here. Um, move it to my little tent, little crafting tent. There you go. Everything good in the crops. Maybe I should move that other. Um, field over there because then this will be the crafting area and that'll be the farming area you know what that sounds like a good idea can i just move that yeah there you go <laughs> just move all this dirt there you go perfect here and this is my uh scarecrow There you go. <laughs> Alright. Should I, should I keep it like this or should I make it like a square? Like this? Oh, the deer is in the way. Like that? Maybe. Although, maybe more like... There you go. Yeah, I think that's good. It's my farm! <laughs> really just move the... yeah. <laughs> just scoop it all up and move it all at once. Um, let's make some potato seeds and rice. Sure. Cool. Although, right, the little pond is here to refill the, the watering pan, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> you don't have to refill it that often. But yeah, also, so like, this is all currently the land that I own, I guess. And this is all the stuff that I don't have yet. Um, I do want to, I want to expand the house, because yeah, I like, the house stuff is like, modular, basically. It's so like you buy like rooms and then you just kind of put them together, kind of like in a Tears of the Kingdom, in <laughs> when you uh, get a house in in that. And I want to do that, but it's just like really expensive to get the rooms. So for now, I just have this one room, <laughs> my little uh, one one, not even one room apartment. It's a studio apartment, <laughs> right? Oh, you know what? Let's try, like, another outfit. Fantasy worlds with their prefab homes, right? 
I feel like I'm fine with the... Whoa, that is a fast... <laughs> That's a fast spin. Um, I'm fine with this haircut. There's like this. Nah. That. That's kind of the right, like, shape, but... Doesn't... No. Yeah. None of these are really cool. Yeah, I think this is the one I pretty much I like the best. Wait, what is Oh. Huh. I guess I like that better. What about hats? Oh man, do you have to pay for hats? I think you had to pay for hats. <laughs> this is a free-to-play game. So, of course, that's where they make their money is in the, the cosmetics. Yeah, like, here's all the ones that you have to pay for. I'll have to go hatless. Hatless shrugged. <laughs> it's always hats. See, yep. so, yeah, I, was, I was wearing this. Um... You know, like this kind of thing. We got that. I don't know. I was kind of doing, I guess, like a Link Tears of the Kingdom cosplay before. Um, we got his t shirts. Got this kind of coat. Got a tank top. Different tank top. Puffy sleeves. <laughs> just a hoodie. <laughs> Well, that's my old design, is just a hoodie, basically. We got, oh, a dress. <laughs> we got whatever this is, long sleeve shirt, I guess. Crop top. This kind of shirt. <laughs> got a bow. Got, oh, like a Jedi <laughs> uniform. Kind of, but with like a wrestling belt. Um, wrestling Jedi? This looks very similar to that other one, but, um, and this. So yeah, there's a decent amount of options. Actually, I kind of want to try one of these ones. Oh. You know what? I kind of like that. I'm trying to, does it let me, um, okay, you have to just choose one of these, um, palettes, I think. I was trying to remember if it let you customize it more. That's pretty good. It's definitely doing another Link cosplay, basically. Let's see, what was I wearing? I was wearing this. Just feel like, oh, there you go, I have some nice boots. Yeah, well, I'm just straight up Link now. If I just make the hair, like, blonde. Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hold on, what, where's, what's blonde? Is that blonde? Like, basically just Link with glasses now. <laughs> wait, wait, where? Yeah, black. I'm, um, let's make up. That's fine. Um, oh yeah, and then I get... They at least... I'm glad... <laughs> at least you can get just basic glasses for free, but to get any other kind of glasses, you gotta pay. Free Jedi rope, thank you. I'm Jedi... Jedi Link, ergo. That's me swinging my lightsaber. Vroom. There you go. Now I'm Link. <laughs> uh, Alright, what am I gonna do now? Oh yeah, I haven't gone fishing. We should go fishing. 
lightsabers are expensive, just go slash them. But yeah. Yeah. We gotta find a, a fantasy equivalent of a lightsaber. You know, just like, oh, a magic blade. It's just a bl its blade is made out of magical energy. It's not a lights. It's legally distinct from a lightsaber. <laughs> Fish. Calico koi. <laughs> the photon. Fish with worms. If you fish, if you actually use bait, you can get rarer fish. <laughs> Pro tip. That. They're also a little more tricky. Orange blue. Again, it needs to make up its mind. Is it orange or is it blue? I just realized I should probably turn off the game chat. <laughs> I just realized that. Maybe I should do that. Don't need to see what these random people are saying. Anyway, we found a treasure chest. Here, hold on. I think I can just do that. There you go. Nice. Apparently someone from the semi friend request, but I don't know who that is. Alright, what's in the chest? It's a coffee table. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it was here in this pond. Oh, it's a new fish. Cool. Let's do one more. Let's go fish at some other locations because we can find some different fish. Oh, thanks for the stretch. Long. <laughs> also, why did it like, turn the chat back on? So let's see. Um, Cause right, there's like three different um, like categories of fish. Cause there's pond, river, and then like the ocean. So let's go see. There's like a good river spot, I think, over there.
But somebody's fishing here, I think. I'm gonna wait, wait, wait. No, <laughs> no, it's fine. I didn't drown. See there. <laughs> fish like from these like circles of bubbles I think that basically means it's like guaranteed to be like a high quality fish fish also wait there's just piranha in this river <laughs> no wonder you're not allowed to swim it's just filled with piranhas yeah I just got another one <laughs> Yeah, stay out of this water. That guy's still standing there. <laughs> this is a different one. It's orange. Uh, it, 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 oh. Ooh, a radiant sunfish. Cool. Oh, my first rare fish. Whoa. It's rare. Alright. So I guess, yeah, if it has that, like, light blue background, I guess that means it's a uh, rare. I wish that we had, like, a, um... A, uh, what am I looking for? An Animal Crossing style, like, uh, encyclopedia of stuff that we've caught. There's, okay, this button says collections, but it's like, it's your emotes and your pet. Which you have to pay for. <laughs> like, I wish there was a screen for like, yeah, like all the fish and bugs that you caught. That would be nice. Maybe? Maybe in the future? Maybe? Please? <laughs> So, oh yeah, there's also an event going on. Wait, what time is it? Ah, uh, we, we missed the event. Oh. Yeah, there's like a festival kind of thing going on. Oh, you said a dim sunfish would be rather boring. That's true. Gotta get those radiant sunfish. school gamer and keep a list on paper <laughs> or just look it up on you know the <laughs> on the fan wiki also hold on because are these piranha like they're not even uncommon do I even need to be using worms what do I catch if I don't use a worm Striped Dace. The Piranha are worth more. <laughs> here, after this will be the last one here, and then we'll go see, uh, we'll go check out the, the ocean. Well, actually, I'm not sure if it's the ocean or if it's just a big lake. The coast. We'll just save the coast. <laughs> Another strike base. I like how even when you just touch the water, you just start to black out. Like, immediately. <laughs> like, I'm literally just putting my feet in the water. <laughs> Oh no, I'm drowning! Oh. <laughs> 
They really don't want you to go in there. They were like, look, we did not, we have not programmed swimming, like, you can't go in there. Don't water pests, hydrophobic. Yeah, see, I guess it's a big lake, because you can see stuff. See land over the side. I think maybe the other area is connected to the ocean. We can go over there, because it has like an actual beach. Gillyfin. This has now become a fishing simulator. <laughs> Sun's coming up. Oh no! What is that? Oh, it's a... Uh, what do you call it? The... Oh, it's a wagon wheel? Okay. Wait, are you sure? That doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't look like a wagon wheel. It looks like, um... What do you call it? The steering wheel on a boat? <laughs> the helm? Sega Bass Fishing. See, I've never really played, like, those, um, like, actual, like, hardcore fishing games. I always just do fishing as, like, a minigame in other games. <laughs> Not sure what a boat wheel is called. I mean, it's the helm, right? Because they're like, take the helm. But then the helm is also the name for, like, the room in general. Like, <laughs> like just the room where the navigation is done. But it's also the name of the wheel, I think. I don't know. I'm not a boat man. Let's go to the coast. To the bay. The Bay Area. What's the name of the room? Pulling a steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know what I'm, I mean. <laughs> That's the important part. As long as people understand what you're talking about. You know what? I've never been to that, like, lighthouse over here. Let's try going to the lighthouse. Let's see what there is to see. I've never actually been. You're gonna boat drift. <laughs> you know, I've um every once in a while I actually play a little bit of um World of Warships. And like in that one, there are times when I see people like doing these maneuvers where I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what? how are you drifting your boat? And then I realize like, oh, well, you're in the water. So I guess that actually makes more sense to drift a boat than it does. <laughs> drifting a boat actually makes more sense than drifting a car, really. Because you're in the water. That's what you do is you drift. <laughs> You're right. Is the helm or just the wheel? Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that too. Okay, all of my knowledge of, like, boats comes from Muppet Treasure Island, so... Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'll say... okay. That's cool. Uh, the auto mod just caught like <laughs> a message from a bot. I've never actually see it do that. Seen it do that before. So good job, Twitch. I guess you actually did something. <laughs> I 
Anybody here? Hello? Hello? Can I like climb up the walls? The Muppets would never steer you wrong. Oh, see, I get it. Never steer you wrong. Like with the helm. <laughs> also, wait, I think I can grab these vines. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, right? The automod actually. Why can't I go up? What? That's the one direction I want to go, and it's the one direction that I cannot go. Is up. Why? <laughs> What's happening? Hold on, let's try that again. Cover my stamina. Okay, okay, it was just, <laughs> just a weird thing. Everyone has never watched actual movies or read books. All his knowledge comes from Muppet adaptations. <laughs> yeah, all my knowledge of like, like famous books or movies is just from parodies of them. So either, either Muppets or like Veggie Tales. Like the Veggie Tales adaptation, or uh... <laughs> how did you say? I found out yesterday that under some setting, Twitch auto censors the name of a character for my favorite game, and none of us know why. <laughs> well, now I want to know, but I know obviously the problem is I guess Auto Mod would catch it. <laughs> uh, well, I'm up here. Do I, is there a reason I want to be here? Is this something? Oh, there's like a little plushie. I can't interact with it though. There's just a little plushie on the ground. Gunts? <laughs> what is that from? There's nothing here. Okay, well. I guess all you get is just a sense of accomplishment. Can I read? No? There's some lore? No lore. Oh, it's from Shining Force? It auto flags it. Maybe I guess because it's kind of similar to another word, I guess. Oh, a chest. <laughs> why was why was the loot down here and not like up there? <laughs> Time to unleash all the profanity. Oh no. I mean whatever, as long as it's not like slurs, it's fine. <laughs> okay, a book. Lore? Lighthouse logbook, kept by Fadhil. Nothing to report. Jabari and I had an argument. I thought it was trifling, but he will no longer speak to me, no matter how many times I apologize. A Bahari ship stopped by to acquire permits to sail to Inurivn. <laughs> Despite my pleas, Jabari has chosen to depart with the ship. Nothing to report. Saw a passenger ferry leave Bahari City. A ship arrived with preserved fish from... Barafu, I issued them a permit and directed them to dock in Bahari City, but they have no news of Jabari. Nothing to report. Nothing. Two ships pass by without stopping. They seem to be making their way from Bahari City to the capital. I cannot bear it any longer. Regular mail is useless, and I do not know what new address Jabari occupies, so for now I will stand upon the dock and throw my messages into the sea, praying he will someday pick one up from the shores of Inurevan. Aww. Oh. Let's see. What's up here? Oh, I got stuck again. <laughs> wait, oh wait, wait. I got unstuck. Like, right before I jumped off. Is there a main plot, or is it sandboxy with random little things? There is a main plot. Um, I've kind of, I'm kind of at, like, a, a point, oh my god, what, no, <laughs> I just let go. Yeah, there is, like, a main plot, because you're, you're, you're kind of trying to figure out a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, oh my god, what? It really doesn't want me to climb up here, but that just makes me want to do it more. <laughs> 
Okay. Wait. Okay. Also, somebody's just shooting arrows. Oh no, they're chopping a tree. Wait, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Why would you do this? Yeah, that. Whoa, that was a weird. <laughs> that was a cool roll. Cool little roll. Oh, we can climb up the outside. Yeah. Look, this game is 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 uh, in beta. It's still technically in a you know beta testing or whatever. So cut it some slack. Oh, wait. Oh, this is just the. This is where I came out of. <laughs> I thought it was a different entrance, but I just went all the way around. It looks like there is stuff up there that <laughs> See like see there's there's a ramp that like keeps going around. <sighs> there's no vines though. And I can't just climb up this wall, yeah. Wait, can I climb on this? No. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> Let's go fish. Cause yeah, okay, I think this is like actually the ocean. Oh wait, I feel like I can see, hold on. Like I could, I think I can see there's like a gap between the skybox and like the horizon of the water. Like so there's like this beige color. I don't think you're supposed to see that. <laughs> yeah, let's go fish. If you can jump down onto it from a high elevation nearby. Oh, you know what? Yeah, there were like some cliffs. Like that. You know what? That's a good idea. Yeah, like if I got on here. There's even ropes connecting them. I don't think you can walk across ropes. But let me see. Um, although, of course, they've done that thing where it's like outcropping. So I don't know if I can climb up it. Hold on. Yeah. That's like a 90 degree angle, so I don't think... No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they've they've specifically tried to stop you from Oh no! No! <laughs> That's too far. Well, it looks like we're going to the beach. <laughs> Welcome to the beach. I totally went here on purpose. Totally. Hey, look, we got snails. fishing and then maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll make another attempt to get up there <laughs> oh, how, how full is my inventory I still have a few also this is what I got out of the treasure chest I got a tile floor Cool. <laughs> nice. Let's 
seems like a good spot to fish. Ah. <laughs> this seems like a good spot to fish, he said immediately before drowning. There you go. It's right in front of these ancient ruins. But yeah, like, different things keep talking about Bahari City, so I'm wondering if that is going to be added as, like, an area you can visit. Or if it's just always going to be kind of off-screen. Oh, Lighthouse Keeper's Light- Oh, we just read about that! <laughs> That's in a bottle, Burton, by Fadil, a Lighthouse Keeper. Jabari, I wish there was some way I could tell you I regret what I said, that I never wanted to make you leave. Please come home, I miss you. Oh, and we have a quest now. Yeah, one out of three. So I guess there's two more letters to find. Maybe there'll be a, maybe there'll be some kind of a conclusion. Like it might be another bottle. <laughs> what a coincidence. When I watch your ship depart, every fiber of my being long to see it return to our lighthouse. My past may be oh my post may be reassigned. Please come home soon. I'm sorry, I still have you fun. I feel like there isn't going to be a happy ending to this story, but we'll see. Yep, looks like another bottle. <laughs> How convenient that we just got all three of the bottles in a row. Bottle combo. <laughs> My tenure at this lighthouse is about to end, and I'm being relocated to Aquindu. But I cannot leave knowing you are still so far away. I will wait for you one last time, every second until I am dragged away at our spot where we shared our first box of chocolates. As I take in the view of both the aqueduct and the entire bay, I will watch for you on the horizon. At our spot, okay, I take in the view of both the aqueduct and the entire bay. Do we need to find the spot? Yeah, search the lighthouse keepers. Secret spot. I wonder, maybe is it at like the top of the lighthouse? Well, okay, it's telling me it's somewhere in this area. Okay, hold on. And we're saying a view of the aqueduct and the bay. Instead of getting to your friend, they somehow all end up in one spot stuck and somehow all get hooked by your fishing pole, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? Those bottles... Like, the purpose of the message in a bottle is for it to go somewhere else. And yet they all just kind of... They all just kind of stayed in the, in the same general area. Okay, like, I feel like... I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like both of these like pillars are like seem like they're specifically designed so that you can't get on top of them. Like see, because they all have like rocks like sticking out. Like they do not want you to get on there. So I don't really know. Let me see, um, I'm going to climb up inside, no, yeah, there was no, like, windows or anything that, like, led outside as far as I could see. I could check again, just in case I missed something. Um, yeah, 
You can only climb, like, natural, like, rock for some reason. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this the thing? Although I don't see how... Oh, there's vines here. Hold on, wait. something, but there's nothing here to interact with. Mm. I can't, like, chop down these boards, right? No. There's, like, a room in there, but... And, yeah, I don't think anything in here connects to the outside. I wish they gave me a little bit more to go on with that message in the bottle. Like, it's just taking the view of the aqueduct and the bay. That doesn't really... <laughs> yeah, and then the map is like, here's this huge area. I mean, maybe it's not even at the lighthouse. Because, yeah, you can see the aqueduct from pretty much anywhere. <laughs> it's pretty big. Um, although it's also needs to be near the water. <clears throat> it almost seems like it could be just the dock area, but I didn't see anything. I might just look it up, I'll be honest. <laughs> Fish, let's see, it's called Fishing for Answers. <laughs> Because I feel like it didn't really give me enough to go on. So, um, head to the cliffs across from the lighthouse. So we got the ruined column. Oh! What's happening? Oh, All Striker, hello! Welcome, thanks for the raid. And hello. <laughs> Hello, thanks for joining the raid. Uh, the all Striker. What were you up to? Oh, you were playing Valorant. How did the Valorant go? Long time no see. Yeah, I hope you've been doing good. It's good to see you. Let's see. Yeah, I hope you stream went well. And thanks for the raid. Let's see, where are we going? So we're going to these cliffs? Maybe those cliffs? Yeah, I think it's this way. Oh, let me on! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I didn't make it. I think that's the spot. Let's do a little, little climb. Do a little Breath of the Wild. Because then it said, like, uh... Well, wait. There's like a... Where is this? This looks like I'm in the right place. Wait, oh no, 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 it's more this way. Yeah, I think it's at the top of this. Oh, and of course it's sticking out so you can't climb up. looking at over here. Oh, just like a, a thing. Shoot. Uh, is there any way to get high? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna pick that up. Of course my inventory's full. 
Of course it is. Hold on. I'm scared of that. Darn outcropping is right. Oops, wrong window. There. Uh, oops. Is there any way to get out? Yeah, I need to know. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm imprisoned by these trees. Climb up this? Is this too too high? Maybe if we take it slow. So if we <laughs> that's a close up. <laughs> no! <laughs> I got distracted by my face. I'm gonna eat these macarons. Um, hold on. Let's just... <laughs> this is a disaster. How do I get back up? Let me up! Out of my way, beavers! <laughs> God, just just let me back to the upper area, please. <laughs> it's the problem with, with uh, game areas that are vertical. Oh, here we go. This is like a a geyser. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? You've been banished to the depths. Yeah. Feel about Breath of the Wild climbing when you make almost every cliff specifically unclimbable, right? It's like just a. I guess, I don't know. It does feel a little tactile. <laughs> like, I guess it's it's nice to have. Like, it's better than just not being able to climb anything. But yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, why... Why did they make these so that you can't get on them? <laughs> Like, why even put them there, then? Like, maybe if there was at least just, like, um... Like, even just, like, the kind of clambering. Like, just when you kind of get, like, to the edge of the... The edge of a cliff or whatever. Then with the Breath of the Wild feel without giving you the freedom to go anywhere. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because then it's also, like... You can only climb like the natural cliffs, like you can't climb the like, building walls or anything. Like at least Genshin Genshin Impact got that right when they copied it from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I'm glad I just looked it up, because I don't think I ever would have come over here. <laughs> also, wait, yeah. I feel like there's a mistake with the letter. Because it's like, oh. Uh, the view of the aqueduct and the bay. But it's like right next to the aqueduct. Like, I feel like that, like that implies that it's something further away. Like, I feel like it should say a view of the lighthouse. Right? Like, why would it say, oh, yeah, what a great view of the aqueduct. We're right in front of it. <laughs> you know? That feels like a writing mistake. Alright, here's the, the final letter. Ugh. Jump scared by the quest complete. 
My dearest Fadil, my days at sea have put our early argument into perspective. What sadness passed between us then is nothing compared to the loneliness I feel now. Sunny beaches hold no meaning without you at my side. I received your letter. Wait, did you? Because I found it in a bottle. <laughs> Soon I will seek you in Aquindu, but just in case, I am leaving a message here too. Please accept this gift as my own apology. I am coming home. Aww, we did have a nice ending. Yay! Well, I'm gonna keep the chocolates for myself. <laughs> and this ring! <laughs> An apology and a promise from one lighthouse keeper to another. It may have sentimental value long ago, but in present day it is no other use than to be sold. <laughs> the feel <laughs> something about the description sounds like mean. <laughs> and this lily. Heart drop lily is a rare flower with a special meaning. The blossoming of romantic love. Nice. I mean I I guess we're implying that this is all stuff from like a long time ago, because the lighthouse is abandoned. So it's fine. It's totally fine to take this stuff. They're probably dead. <laughs> but at least it sounds like they, they reunited. Or they were going to reunite. Then we find another letter that's like, and then Fud... Uh, or which one? And then Jabari, you know, died in a shipwreck on the way. <laughs> Jabari died in a tragic shipwreck. On the way to meet their 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 lover. That's what it would do if this was near. If we were playing a near video game, that's what would happen. Alright. Let's head back home. This is this has been an adventure. Here, I'm just gonna use the fast travel. <laughs> And then yeah, to have the questions. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that item description. <laughs> that item description is maybe a little unnecessary. <laughs> of just as no other. I mean, I understand. I think the intention was they don't want the player to think like, oh, I need to keep this ring. You know, like maybe I need this ring later. They're just telling you like, no, you can just sell it. <laughs> you don't have to keep it. <laughs> like I think is the intention. I'm probably still gonna keep it. <laughs> it's a unique item, right? Like, I can't just get rid of a unique item. Rather have it left mysterious. Yeah. Wait, where did it actually go in the storage? It's in gatherables for some reason. Okay. Wait, can I display it? I wonder if I can display it. Like, can I put it somewhere? Oh. oh, I can read it. What? <laughs> oh, okay. I guess it counts as a letter. Or th wait, they just they wrote all that on the ring. <laughs> That's a lot of writing. <laughs> they, they, they must be able to write really small. <laughs> all right, let's put that away. And yeah, this game does have romance, like a Harvest Moon game. I think like chocolates are what you use to like initiate <laughs> initiate romance protocol. <laughs> Put all these fish away. I like these little little menu sounds when I just mouse over stuff like <laughs> Like I'm playing a little, like, xylophone or something. Anyway. Do I have, like, a, any... Let's sell some... Whoops, that menu just moved. Um, let's sell some extra fish. Um, I also, I'm not sure, I, I feel like, um, the makers of this game are not, 
native English speakers? <laughs> Maybe? I'm not sure on that. I'll have to actually check that. Which is why I'm like, I can excuse some of the maybe kind of weird writing. Yeah, sell those piranhas. Oh cool, some stuff is ready to hurt. Wait, is that not there? Mmm, ah, tomato. Okay. And then plant some more carrots. <laughs> I have so many carrots. Maybe I'll make so much carrot soup. very pink now. Hmm. Oh, the worms are done. Worms are ready. Here, let's put some meat in. Worms. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Alrighty. Maybe that'll be enough for tonight then. So thanks for joining me. Oh, doing a stretch redeem on myself. Um, thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you had fun taking a look at this game. Uh, maybe I'll stream more of it in the future? Who knows? Look at my fields. <laughs> my fields of mostly carrots. And yeah, 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 yeah. Let's find somebody to read. Let me see who's on. I know Verdant's probably still on because he's doing his... Yeah, he's doing his uh, subathon. Um, 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 uh, he has a lot of viewers right now, so let me see if there's somebody. Oh, the, um, let me see. This person is on. Yeah, here. 
Let's raid uh, Ursa. I don't think I've gotten to raid him before. Friend of the show, <laughs> Ursa Kuavera. He's playing Project Zomboid. It's a much less chill <laughs> game. <laughs> but yeah. That'll be fun. Uh, so that'll be all for me. And good night.